blue berthers. The blue, are we on? We're on. You're on. Well, good morning. Look at this. It's actually foggy, everyone. Especially hot rod. Hot rod is so foggy. <laughs> okay, we're all we're all foggy. It's there early. We, go. we gotta get hot rod strapped in here. We forgot the handcuffs, so we gotta do <laughs> we gotta do the duct tape. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we're we're at the scene of the uh, of the last major incident where the guy was hanging upside down for a half an hour. Scene of the crime. Uh huh. Scene of the crime. So yeah, we're at the scene of the crime. Around 15 people got stung here uh, uh, last week, right? Wasn't it Westford? Yeah. Uh, just a uh, like last Thursday, Wednesday or something. And this is where we came to look at the hive, and they chased us back in the damn truck. Now about 15 people. We aren't sure how many people got stung. Because this is where, and you see the interview on YouTube and TikTok, it's Hell, it's a Hereford Hell Tree, okay? Hereford Hell Tree. And you see the interview with the guy that ran up the roof over here barefoot to rescue the other guy that was hanging upside down. Oh my God, you guys, hanging upside down from a rope, 60 foot up, getting attacked, screaming for 10 minutes of it. And then he went silent. For the last, for, it was a total of a half an hour he was dangling up there. They got him down on the ground, and we'll be telling you more about this as we do the removal today. Uh, it's a beautiful Monday morning. It's just so rare to see this kind of fog, and it, it was just a weird, weird weather right now in Cochise County. This is wonderful, absolutely beautiful. We'll take it. Uh, we're in the middle of December here, or almost actually. And so the guy, we don't even know if he's still alive. But this is how bad these bees are. You cannot second guess them. So we're gonna take care of them. Yeah, let's get her. Let's go up and see what's going on up there. Here. We, I mean, we can fit all three of us in this bucket. Yeah. We gotta oh, get you taped up. Go. Yeah. And all that good stuff. So, all right, we gotta get uh, Westford all taped up. We've got Hot Rod. All we gotta get him taped up. Uh, yeah, this is this is a big one. Hosh is getting on his. Uh, Frock of doom. It's frock of doom. Oh, <laughs> frocking awesome. Straight up in the air. So there, we're going up and to the left, and they were coming out of those knots right there, right, Hosh? Right. Right up there. We're gonna have to pinpoint. I think they're coming out of those knot holes right over there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You seen the activity yet? Not yet. Next to the rope? No. Or no, before it. Right. Straight up. Right. Literally straight up. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. I just got scared. Now we gotta go look at this knot hole right here. <laughs> That's where they're coming and going. Right. You okay, West? Yeah, I just got scared. I've never <laughs> been up this high in anything in my life. <laughs> okay. You just straight it, up. It's like it's like you right, gotta trust the suit, you gotta right trust here. the bucket. You know, right, you just right you just me. trust the machine. I do. Just looking down, this is like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> straight up. We got a really old hive here. A lot of propolis. Look at that. See the knot right there? Oh yep. wow. Yeah. You see all that? That's all propolis that in there. Brown slime in there. It's not really slime, but glue. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the that's it right there. So everybody can see. Killer bee name. That's good. That's good. Oh, they already come out. There they are. We got some bees. We already got bees, right. guys. Here's spray adhesive if you need it. Yes, thank you. Alright, so but what I really would like to do first, we, did we bring up any tools or no? None. Okay. No. Just no. us. Shit, yeah, because I'd like to get this propolis. Oh. But it is rock hard. And it ain't gonna happen. Because that is one well, propolis, everybody. Now propolis is tree sap. Now I know you don't even see any bees, do you? Um, well, these are the. This is the exact hive that um, stung up a guy that was hanging upside down for a half an hour. From that rope right there. From that rope right over there. He had cut that limb down, and so that do you see this rooftop right below us. Well, that's the one that Mark ran up um, barefoot. Wow. Actually, see, like that. Wow. That I just did. Oh boy. Yeah, here they come. All right. Oh, yep. So this is that an interesting okay. lesson. Okay. Right, here they come. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now see, if it was 100 degrees out. Oh, forget it. We wouldn't have even made it halfway up. We probably they would have attacked us down on the ground. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. 
That's quite a door they built there. That's what I'm trying to get out to show everybody mm -hmm. is the uh, what they built. Which is downright amazing, actually. But it'll come a point where I'll just say, fuck it, fuck it. Kind of have to. There we go. That's what I wanted. Look at Boy, that. Look at all that honeycomb in there. Yep, look at all that in there. Holy oh, shit. Wow. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's, a, that's great. Yeah, can you see that out of both of them? Yeah. Can you see that? All right. Appreciate it. So look at all that comb in there. Now, we're actually yeah. just doing spray adhesive. We're trying to make this as safe as possible. Because these guys already had an issue. We're going to have to go up to these up here also. Yeah, yeah, of course, the real question is, are there other doors? That's exactly that, right. That is always the challenge with these, oh, with always with these challenge. trees. So now i got to get out a new van. And if you could keep an eye out on other doors, because we know that we yeah. have this one secured. Yeah, I'm watching. We found it! All right, getting in here and close this one. So this, now, don't anyone be fooled, it's nice and cool this morning, and these bees think they won. <laughs> because they, this is really a new van strip, which is a strip that will off-gas for four months, and anything with an exoskeleton is screwed, <laughs> which we like at this point, right? I gotta make sure it's shoved down in there as far as I can. Get it down in there. Oh yeah, get your whole arm in there, Reed. All right. Wow. <laughs> Ah! Reaching in the honey pot. Yeah, look, look at that. that. All, all honey. Yeah. Yep. Oh, all well. honey. Yep. Yep. So there's nothing can be done though. Getting honey out of trees is just impossible. I'm trying to make it make room so I can show that that new van strip as far down in. I mean, this literally could go down 20 feet. Right. Literally down 20 feet. All right, now I'm gonna get my Fendona out. And if you can keep an eye out on other yeah, knots and whatnot. I'm watching, we're... actually, and I'm not seeing anything. Well, I'm kind of shocked, but good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. My only question is, is there something around back behind this? Well, knot? we've, it seems like there always is. Yeah, but at this okay, point. Okay, now I'm gonna do some tri-dye in there. Put the kibosh on them. Boy, it's nice to, it's getting loud in there. Was it? Yeah, they were starting, starting to get Come loud. Yeah. yeah. What's tri dye? Tri dye is a is another uh, uh, poison that is a more residual, and it's an insecticide. But we only use insecticides that are really super safe for human use. But you still don't want to, you know, misuse them. Okay, this is looking good. How you doing, Wester? Here. I'm doing good now. Thank You're doing you. Great, actually. Okay, now Vendona is another type. Come on, fucking thing. There we go. This is a pyrethrin, cypermethrin, actually. So these pyrethrins that we use are made from chrysanthemum flowers. So this one hive, like I said, could go down 20 feet. We don't see any activity out of there, out of any holes down no. there. No. None? Okay, good. Because that's what we're really looking for. Now I'm going to do the steel wool thing. And then you have an expanding foam hole shook up. You know where to go. So now we're basically, this is a classic new conceal. So we're going to stuff this full of steel wool. Because steel wool and um, expanding foam are kind of like concrete and rebar for bugs. Now, okay, this guy got stung so many times. And people are like... We'll be saying, well, they're not that aggressive. They almost killed 15 people a few days ago, this exact hive. So this is really a lesson in uh, you got to be prepared. And of course, it was all because the guy did not put a bee suit on. So precautionary uh, PPE, right? Personal protective equipment. You got to do it. Is that the only steel wool that we brought up? Yeah. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put the kibosh on these guys. All right. Because they have to come and yeah. finish trimming yeah, these trees up. Sure. Although I don't think that guy will. <laughs> but they have to come and, and finish trimming these trees up. Yeah, I'm curious how he's doing. I'm very curious. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, we're making a two. So, uh, yeah, steel wool. 
and expanding foam like concrete rebar for bugs. Even birds can't poke through it, so we're basically entombing them, which is a classic new conceal. Couldn't believe all that propolis in there. My God, I oh, yeah. that was astounding. How many years do you think they've been on this tree? Oh my God, from the looks of that propolis? Mm. 20, 30? Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Then I get the occasional drip on my head of whatever. Yes. Um, all right, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit while we go up and take a look at the up above. This looks so good so far, but when we go up, we'll let this sit. It'll expand, set up basically, and we can kind of do a survey around here. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Oh, I um, got a loud one. Huh? Yeah. I got a loud one. Can you hear that? Yeah. In your ear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear it in your ear over here. Yeah. Okay, hot yeah. rod. Let's go back a bit and up. I want to check those other knot holes up above. Thank you. So normally you could see the river right down there. I mean, it's only like 300 yards away. <laughs> I just challenged myself to look down and I was okay. I got a wow, little scared a of heights when we first got up. Yeah. But I, I'm getting well, more comfortable. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I just don't look down. I I, have, I forced myself to look yeah. down when we stopped moving. Yeah. yeah, I'm so weird. I just stared. <laughs> <laughs> he just stares at the ground. I just stare at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and up, up about a, up a little bit. Good, thank you. Just in case, there's no reason to not do it and wish we had. Damn, bug right on my nose. Well, well, I have to admit, on a case like this, an uneventful one is fine. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, normally, Hosh and I don't mind getting into the thick of it, and Westford's still getting used to having all that activity around, so this is kind of a good break-in for her. Right, Westford? Yes. This is a really a good break-in, because this is really, you know, serious shit. Yeah, it's when you start compounding risks. Ouch. Like you got the killer bees on one hand, mm -hmm. and then you're up 50 feet. Yeah, and <laughs> my then, first time you know in a boom saying? truck. Yeah. yeah, and I'm a so genius. You, you start compounding the risk. I got stung on the ear. You know why? It's, why? Oh shit! You're not zipped in. Get that. Get that on camera. I just saw a part of. Fucking stupid. Actually, I got to make sure that stinger's out of my ear. It hurts. Can anyone see? Is it stinger out? Uh, is it right there? Yep. I got it. Thank you. I think I got it. Does it feel better? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bees. Talk about compounding risks. Can right. we talk about another yeah, risk? Yeah, that's a compounded yeah, risk. Yeah, well, right we, we usually check each other's nets and we didn't yeah. this morning, so. Well, you said today you wore the Velcro one. You Velcroed yourself. Yeah, I should have zippered also. <laughs> I was uh, talking in reference to duct tape. <laughs> Dumbass that I am. <laughs> I am curious about where he cut over there. Right right there, that yeah. big one that's uh yeah. not the one that the rope is on, the one above it. Uh-huh. I don't know if we can get close enough to that because probably right? Well they're not in that one. Right. How did he get up there? They uh had that rope and they hooked it onto the crane and hoisted him up. Whoa. Okay. Uh, then uh, that's fine. Down, down is good. They were made in the Brazilian yeah, this laboratory. Yeah, really good. Actually, a little further. Um, ah, oh, shit. Well, there's. I don't see anything coming out of it, but there's a big hole right in that limb over there. I keep looking at that. See uh, that opening? That would be, yeah, that's not. That that's not. No, yeah, that wouldn't be. It's a whole separate operation. Okay, so they'd be in this particular. Trunk? This particular limb right here. Okay. Well, unless there's another hive. Right. You know. Okay. Okay, let's go back down to our original one. It's, it's yes. amazing how one little hole like that can, right. in a hollow limb, can house a quarter of a million bees easily. Right. We're looking at the end of this one? Yeah. We're going to look up at the end of this one just because we can. Yeah. But where all that propolis was, I mean, that's the front door. Right. That's just the way it is. Right. And with that new van in there and the Fendona and all that, yeah. it's a done deal. But now I just what's want, the reach on that? No entrance, no nothing going on here. So that one's, 
that one's good. So that the the new van is recommended for a 10 foot by 10 foot shed, which is usually eight foot high, yeah. and. So a tree limb like this, which in that amount could definitely be that, it'll uh, it'll put the kibosh on anything with six legs. Reed, even if it doesn't reach the bottom of the hive, they've, it's got, still they've got no way out. Right, right. They're, that's one thing that we're taking so much time with here is looking to make sure they have no way right. out. Right. And it really does look like uh, that put the kibosh on them. Yeah. What a tree. Yeah, what a tree, oh my, my God. God. I think it's massive. Nice. And just that one limb, of course, they took off weighed 500 pounds. Yeah. And so if that was to fall on the house, and that's the whole point of oh, having of these trimmed up. Yeah. Because they, these cottonwoods are, are infamously brittle and hollow. <laughs> Great combo, right? But they're beautiful. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Hi, everyone. How's my ear? Is it swelling? A little poopy. I don't care anymore. <laughs> you feeling small today? That's, oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I oh, yeah. That. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I got stung on the ear because I forgot to zip up my net. And of course, she had to ask, Are you feeling swell? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I got to tell everybody that I'm doing this with a big gash on the back of my left leg. Had surgery a couple days ago. So. That was, it's interesting, it hurts. Okay. So I had to pop that propolis out so we could get all the steel wool in and all that because they would r simply remove the propolis. So had to expand the hole to seal the hole, basically. So, well, the guy was let down here, the EMT showed up and uh, they all got stung and the helicopter landed out in the field out here and they all got stung and the guy is still in Banner Hospital from what I know in Tucson. Total disaster. So although this was not very eventful for us, and for all you guys out there in Killer Bee Nation land, not very eventful, but they almost killed like 15 people the other day. So you can't be too careful. Thank you for coming along. Go to KillerBeeGuy.com and get some honey. All right, and we have a special. It's uh, KBG, that's Killer Bee Guy. KBG1, the number one, you have 20% off for the holidays. So go get some honey, guys. We love you. And uh, we're gonna do something else. Say. Say goodbye, host. Say goodbye, Westwards. Bye. And there's hot rod. See you guys.